Hello and welcome to another video on standard form and in this video we're going to take a look at how to divide numbers that are written in standard form. So if standard form is a, a weakness of yours I do have a whole playlist dedicated to this topic so please check that out if you haven't already done so. So in this video let's go through three examples of the process of how to do not divide numbers that are written in standard form and then I'm going to give you a bunch of questions for you to have some practice on. So if we go through the first example, we've got two numbers that are written in standard form, 9 times 10 to the power 9, and then we're going to divide that by 3 times 10 to the power 4. So the way I like to do this is I just like to rewrite this as a fraction, because you can see that we're dividing one number by another, so we can just rewrite this whole division just as a fraction. So just like this. And now I like to treat the single digit numbers and the powers of 10 separately. So if we look at the single digits first, we've got 9 divided by 3, well, that's going to be 3, so it's going to be 3 multiplied by, because we've got the multiplication symbol here, and now we just need to look at the powers of 10. So we've got 10 to the power 9 divided by 10 to the power 4. So hopefully you can remember back to your laws of indices that if we divide numbers with the same base, we just need to subtract our indices. So it's going to be 10 to the power of 9 minus 4, which is 5. So our answer is 3 times 10 to the power 5, and you can see that this is written in standard form, so this would be my final answer. So let's move on to the next example. We've got 3.5 times 10 to the power 4, and we're going to divide that by 5 times 10 to the power 9. So just like I did before, I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. Now, if we look at the single digit numbers, we've got 3.5 divided by 5. Now, that's going to be quite a tricky calculation to do, but there's a much, much simpler way of tackling this because I can see that 35 divided by 5 is 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this number to 35. So I'm going to change that number to 35. And what did I do to change that? Well, I just multiplied it by 10. So 3.5 times 10 is 35. So all I did was I just multiplied this number by 10. But notice, we can't just change this number willy-nilly. We can't just multiply it by 10 because that's going to change the calculation. What I'm going to have to do to keep the calculation the same is I'm going to have to do the opposite to this number. So I'm going to divide this number by 10. So if I divide this number by 10, we're back to where we were. So what is 10 to the power 4 divided by 10? Well, that's just 10 to the power 3. So it's going to be 35 times 10 to the power 3. Now these two expressions at the top here in my numerator are exactly the same. So notice, I've multiplied this number by 10, but I've divided this number by 10. So these two things are identical. So now if I just write in my denominator, we've got 5 times 10 to the power 9. And now let's look again at our, um, I say single digit numbers, we've got sort of our non-powers of 10, if you like. 35 divided by 5, well that's nice and easy now, that's just 7. So it's going to be 7 multiplied by, and now if we do our powers of 10, 10 to the power 3 divided by 10 to the power 9, well that is 10 to the power negative 6. So we just subtract our indices, 3 minus 9 is negative 6. And you can see that this is our final answer, because it is written in standard form. Okay, let's take a look at the final example. So just like before, I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. And again, let's take a look at our single digit numbers. Notice we don't have any decimals, so we're just going to have to do this division itself. So what is 3 divided by 8? So for this, I'm going to go to my trusted long division. So let's do that. Uh, let's do it up here, just because I'm going to use this space down here. So we've got 3 divided by 8. So how many times does 8 go into 3? I call this the bus stop method because it looks a bit like a bus stop. So I'm going to need some zeros. I know there's going to be some decimal points. So 8 into 3 doesn't go, so that's 0. 8 into 30. 8 into 30 go 3 times. 8 times 3 is 24, so we're going to have 6 left over. 8 into 60 go 7 times, because 8 times 7 is 56. We're going to have 4 left over. And 8 goes into 40 exactly 5 times. So... 3 divided by 8 is 0.375, so it's going to be 0.375 multiplied by, and then we just do our powers of 10, 10 to the power 22 divided by 10 to the power 9 is going to be 10 to the power of 22 minus 9, which is 13. 
Now, you might be tempted to leave this as it is, but this is not in standard form. Because look at our base, it's not between 1 and 10. So how are we going to get this in standard form? Well, we're going to need to multiply this by 10. So if I multiply this number by 10, so let me just show you what I'm doing. I'm just multiplying this number by 10. That will give me 3.75, which is nice because now this is between 1 and 10. But if I'm multiplying this number by 10, to keep the calculation the same, I'm going to have to do the opposite to this number. So I'm going to need to divide this number by 10. So what is 10 to the power of 13 divided by 10? Well, that's just going to be 10 to the power of 12. So this here would be my final answer. Even though this is correct, it's not written in standard form. So you should always make sure if you've been given a question where the numbers are written in standard form, your answer should also always be in standard form. OK, so it's over to you now. Pause the video and see if you can answer these four questions. OK, I'm assuming you've paused the video, so let's go through this together. So question one, again, we're going to write, what I'm going to do first of all, is just going to write all of these as fractions, just to save a bit of time. And you don't have to write these as fractions, it's just my personal preference. So let's look at the first part. We've got 8 divided by 2, well that's just 4, so it's going to be 4 multiplied by, and then if we look at our powers of 10, we're going to subtract our indices, so it's going to be 10 to the power of 2. So this here is my final answer. So question two, we've got 1.2 divided by 3. So just like I did in one of my previous examples, I'm going to multiply this number by 10 because 12 divided by 3 is nice and easy. So if I multiply this by 10, that will give me 12. Uh, but then obviously I'm going to need to divide this by 10 to keep the calculation the same. So that's going to be times 10 to the power of 3. So I've multiplied this by 10 and I've divided this by 10. And then obviously our denominator is the same. So now if we look at the first part, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So it's going to be 4 times 10 to the power of 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So that is our answer, 4 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Okay, question 3, we've got 1.44 divided by 12. So at the moment this is quite a complicated calculation. However, I can see that 144 is in the 12 times tables. So if I can change this to 144, that will make the calculation much easier. So what did I do to go from 1.44 to 144? Well, I multiplied this by 100. So because I multiply this by 100, I'm going to have to divide this by 100. And another way you could think about dividing by 100 is that's just the same as dividing by 10 squared. So if I divide this by 10 squared, well, that's going to be times 10 to the power 6. Notice with this one, I just took off one power of 10. This one here, I've taken off two powers of 10. So these two expressions here are equivalent. And now again, if I just copy in my denominator. So now let's do 144 divided by 12. Well, that will give me 12. And now 10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power negative 5. We just need to be really careful here because we're going to do 6 subtract negative 5. Well, that's the same as 6 plus 5, which is 11. So it's going to be 10 to the power 11. And we're not done there because this is not written in standard form. Our base number needs to be between 1 and 10. So what I can do is I can just divide this number by 10. So that's going to be 1.2. And then just do the opposite with the power of 10. So now multiply this number by 10. So that's going to be 10 to the power 12. So this here would be my final answer. OK, let's take a look at the last question. So we've got 3 divided by 1.2. So this time the decimal is in the denominator. So I'm just going to first of all copy out the numerator. And now we need to change this number here. So if I multiply this by 10, that will give me 12. And I'm going to do the opposite to this number. So if I divide this number by 10, that will be 10 to the power 6. So now let's look at the first part. We've got 3 over 12. Well, if we simplify 3 over 12, that's the same as 1 over 4. And 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. So this over here will be 0 0.25. And then we're going to multiply it by 10 to the power negative 4 divided by 10 to the power 6. So we just need to subtract our indices. Negative 4 subtract 6 is negative 10. So it's going to be 10 to the power negative 10. And again, we can't leave it like that because this here is not written in standard form. This base number needs to be between 1 and 10. So I can just multiply this by 10, which will give me 2.5. And I need to 
divide this by 10 so i need to take off a power of 10 so it will be 10 to the power negative 11. so this would be my answer written in standard form so we've come to the end of this particular video hopefully that was useful and hopefully you now understand the process of how to divide numbers that are written in standard form We've only got a couple of videos left on this topic now, so in the next video we're going to take a look at how to add and subtract numbers that are in standard form. And you might think that's easier than multiplying and dividing, but when it comes to standard form it's actually in reverse. So adding and subtracting are slightly trickier to do. So hopefully you'll join me for that video and thanks again for watching. Take care.